Hi, I'm Ariana, and I'm on the professional learning team at Code.org. In this video, you will learn about the student experience using Code.org. I'll show you what happens when students use our site from when they sign in to when they start a coding activity. What students see when they sign in depends on whether or not you have assigned curriculum material yet. Students will be taken to their homepage if you have not assigned them curriculum material. Here, students can find a course on their own or they can start a project directly. If you have already assigned material to your students, they will be taken directly to the overview page. For more information about creating a section or assigning curriculum to your students, check out our video, Creating a Class Section. On the overview page, students can find all the chapters or lessons they've already begun working on in the course. If they've already begun course content, they can quickly continue where they left off by pressing the Continue Lesson button. Students can also click each lesson's purple Lesson Resources button to access the lesson's resources. Note that this is called Student Resources when viewing the button on your teacher account. Looking at the student's view of the overview page, we can see that for each lesson, there are multiple types of levels. Some levels show information or videos, others show multiple choice questions or free response questions, others show coding activities, and choice levels allow the student to choose between various activities. This gives you, as the teacher, a chance to differentiate learning. Let's look at the most common type of activity, coding activities. This large area for coding is called the workspace. There's also a display area and an area for instructions. Depending on the coding activity, the experience will look slightly different because the material will be geared toward learning different skills. As we look at the different coding activities, notice how the layouts can change. You can use the three dot borders in most workspaces to resize sections. Coding activities like this one, targeted at younger students, allow them to drag and drop blocks of code. As students learn more, they can code using text or blocks. When coding with blocks, students can hover over them and see additional information and sometimes additional documentation. Some levels will tell students if their work is right or wrong as they code. These validated levels are often found in computer science fundamentals and AP CSA curricula and within our Hour of Code activities. When students get incorrect answers, these levels provide feedback in the instructions window. In CS Fundamentals, you'll often find hints or helpful tips for students. You can find these in the instructions panel, typically signified by a light bulb. Other levels are more open-ended and require students to decide when they've completed the task. In these levels, students will click the orange Finish button. Help and tips are often found in the instructions panel, which is a separate tab. One last thing, remember that if you ever want to see what a student experience looks like as a teacher, you can use the blue teacher panel on the right hand side of your screen. Simply open it up and click student. If you have any questions about features you saw in this video or need additional support while teaching, you can click the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to access additional support and resources.